ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಫೆಡರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಡಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಎಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸಾಧಕ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಶರ್ಮಿಲಾ ಮುಖರ್ಜಿ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಟು ದ ಫೋರಂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಲೇಜರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಆನರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಮುದ್ರಂ ಸುಮುಖಂ ತ್ರಿನೇತ್ರಂ ಜಟಾಧರಂ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ವಾಮಭಾಗಂ ಸದಾಶಿವಂ ರುದ್ರಮನಂತ ರೂಪಂ ಚಿದಂಬರೇಶಂ ಹೃದಯ ಭಾವಯಾಮಿ ವಿ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿದಂಬರಂ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಿಯನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಐಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಆನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ವಿ ಬೋ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸೋಲ್ the natyadi deva nata mahanata chidambara nata to seeking his blessings on all the dancers and blessings from sharmila mukherji ma'am through her experience her personality exploring her various different facets of life and achievements which is a great inspiration for all of us with no delay i take this pride of introducing the artistic director of sanjali center for odyssey in bangaluru which is established into from 2004 shrimati guru shrimati sharmila mukherji has been a lead role player that's how she came to light in the role of chandalika in tagore's dance drama way long back in kolkata she has been trained under the tutelage of guru veteran guru keluchiran mohopatra since 1984 in kolkata in the rigorous and intensive odyssey style of classical dance styles of india she also took lessons very importantly uh, in abhinaya from shrimati kalanidhi mami and attended workshops of uh, late shrimati sanjukta panigrahi too she is a graded artist of doordarshan and an established artist of the iccr indian council for cultural relations Shamila ma'am has performed at various prestigious festivals and conferences in in India and abroad including countries like PZ Malaysia Australia New Zealand Italy US Indonesia and UAE and many more she has been uh, coveted with lot of awards to name a few singaramani from sur singar sansad mumbai a prestige mahari 2016 award from the guru pankaj charan das foundation for her contribution to odissi dance and also the bcka kala shrestha award from the bengaluru club for kathakali uh, and arts in bengaluru she is a ace choreographer and has created many dance dramas which are visual treat including hansika sukshma kaikeyi and many more uh, to her credit with her experience as performer and teacher she has visited various different universities for talks lectures and teaching including reva university bengaluru natya institute of kathak and choreography bengaluru rabindra bharti university kolkata having made bangalore home now sharmila ma'am established the sanjali center for odissi dance in 2004 and when she moved there from kolkata and continues to spread this uh, divine art form of odissi in karunadu to many students in the city and outside bangalore too many students have done their arangetram or rangapravesham under the guidance of ma'am who has made a name for herself as one of the pioneers in odissi in southern part of india sanjali has opened various branches all over bengaluru and many of uh, sharmila ma'am's senior students are solo performers and help her to run classes teach and they've also been um leading an independent lives as dancers and performers themselves i welcome shri sai venkatesh ji on to the board to uh, converse with this great personality and we're looking out for a great session today ma'am namaste namaste thank you so Namaskaram. much that, thank you so much for that long and beautiful introduction <laughs> Hello, Sai. <laughs> Namaskaram, Namaskaram. Madam, how are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wonderful to have you with us. 
it's a wonderful journey you've been going through and you have got a lot of miracles to bangalore audience our national audience and international audience what a great achievement it's a long long way as a great performer teacher natyachar and composer you, choreographer <laughs> what na still struggling uh, <laughs> yeah madam ji we are very interested to know how you started how did you come to dance instead of going to a, become a doctor or an engineer or any other wonderful profession where you can make lot of money uh, and things like that and you took to cover culture the culture of our country so seriously and you have done a wonderful job we would like to know how how this uh, uh, attracted you uh yeah thank you sai first of all thank you for having me on the show um and uh, you've always been uh, always there for us and for so many dancers in karnataka you've been so many things so <laughs> i yeah. want not to love yeah. you so um uh, how i started I a 9 to 5 job i never wanted to do i was okay. very clear from the childhood i was very interested in the arts you know i mean um, i had uh, books those days picture books when we, even i couldn't read of uh, da- dancers you know mostly uh, you know ballet dancers and show and you know i remember i had a book on a beautiful book on anna pavlova and i was oh. fascinated you know because it uh, completely talked about her life and pictures and the backstage and you know and her work the hours of uh, practice a lot of pictures it had a detailed uh, you know yeah. study of pictures so uh that was what i was i was i think i couldn't read that time so i used to look at all the pictures and uh, I, i got fascinated and i loved uh, anything to do with the arts i was uh, born and brought up in kolkata so there were a lot of uh, cultural programs happening uh, indian classical dance uh, music shows theater you know contemporary dance so whatever and my i would i would really say that my parents uh, took me to a lot of shows and uh, encouraged me you know as from childhood i would go to see so you know and you're at that impressionable age where it makes a lot of difference to you i always loved the stage and the lights and the music and it all fascinated me a lot you know much more than uh, the cinema did possibly you know somehow that that feel of that auditorium where audience is uh, sitting over there and the live music and the show uh, you know the, the the lights and everything was just it just fascinated me but i still was too young to sort of uh, you know realize that i would eventually go into dance uh, even when you know I, when i was in school uh, there were in, there was an indian dance uh, shankar uh, style dance uh, we had our uh, had shanti bose who was a disciple one of the senior disciples major disciples principal disciples of uh, shri uday shankar ji he used to take classes when i was a child i don't think i was so interested you know i mean i i would participate but i was not so serious about it when you are a child you know you are you, know, you have friends and you're playing and all that so it's much later much later i would say maybe when i was 11 or 12 when i started really enjoying being part of families and dance dramas and uh, suddenly i don't know for suddenly i i mean i just got very interested and uh, it's very gradually started because uh, that time i was not learning odissi or anything like that so i was just doing uh, you know the uh, shankar style of dance rushing and yes and i when i was 16 years old i got a break um, at this uh, as a as the heroine of uh, goes dance drama chandalika which is about a one and a half hours uh, ballet and uh, the, the 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 main the protagonist the heroine uh, has a very very she's there three quarters of the time or most of it i think you know so it was like a, i mean it was a huge break for me because that was uh, when it happened just when i was in school just i had finished uh, icsc i think or uh, even before that Uh, when uh, during the summer break you know during the, uh, in kolkata in uh, the month of may they used to have a month long festival of tagore's uh, dance dramas so that's uh, 
and that's when i and that's when i realized that i want to take it up uh, you know because i was there was appreciation you know first time it i was written about in papers so that's when i realized i want to be in this profession you know and uh, in fact he only guided me he said you i wanted to learn a classical dance form he said you should learn odyssey you know i, I feel that it would go with uh, your uh, your kind of uh, you know the uh, uh, structure whatever so um, um but it odyssey happened even then a little much later when i think uh, maybe two three years later when i had uh, I just started going to college, and uh, I saw Prothima Bedi's performance. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and yeah, that was yes. <laughs> See, the roots uh, of going coming to Bangalore was probably from there. It's, uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, so hers was the first UDC performance I saw. Oh, so, yes, you know, because I I saw Sanjukta Panigrahi and everybody, you know, so many of the senior veteran artists. Uh, the legends i saw much later but hers was the first one and i was just blown away because guruji was uh, you know playing the mandala uh, oh. he had also come down there were a band of about seven musicians it was a huge uh, show and it was about one and a half hours to two hours at the festival i sat through from the beginning till the end i was blown away by the music i was blown away by the dance the costume the jewelry the guruji's playing you know i just I said I just want to learn this dance form. I, I just want to, I fell in love with it. <laughs> so I uh, so I a couple of days later I think I was I was obsessed. I said no, this is the so I made my mother take me to uh, Padatik, Calcutta, Calcutta, where Guru used to come and he used to take workshops. You know. Oh, okay. He used okay. to stay for a month. Uh, you know. So I didn't know that I went, and uh, that's the office told me that he is not here. He stays in uh, Orissa, so, but he will come. In fact, you're very lucky. He will probably come maybe another week later or so, or so and you can come and uh, enroll. So and that's how I started. About a week later or ten days later, I was just waiting for the day, and that was okay. the first class with Guruji that uh, I went to. I saw. so many other dancers and i i just was fascinated i said i just want to do this i don't i can't think of doing anything else and the first class uh, of course guruji just taught me the torso you know the odyssey we have the torso movement so basically only that was taught to me and um, since i was uh, studying that time he said that you know i take classes from morning till night so i said no it's not possible for me to come in the mornings because i am studying you know So he said that in that case you just uh, you know I have a senior disciple here and she will teach you the basics and I keep coming and uh, I keep coming quite regularly. He used to come very regularly once in three months wow. he would come and stay for a month. He would come to Kolkata at least four five times a year. Oh, so um, that's how it started and uh, that was it. That was how I got into Odissi and uh, okay. It's a long journey. You, then, I, then of course, yeah. I went to Bhubaneswar and Kadak and everything. Yes. Yeah, you stuck to Kelu Dada. Yes. Yeah, itself, or did you even venture with other gurus or something no, like? No, 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 no. Or, I, okay, I went. Okay. I was very clear. I wanted to join his class, and I took the okay. basics from his uh, disciple Poshali. Okay. But I was always because he said she is here to teach you the basics, and I am going to come. So it, from the okay. beginning, the understanding was there that I will be Gu Guruji's disciple always, you know. So okay. and that's how it was, and that's how it uh, turned out to be. Because after that, I stuck. I stuck. No, I didn't. Uh, I think in those days it wasn't so um, rampant that you leave gurus. Now it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, come. That is true. That is true. That is true. Okay, okay. That was lovely, lovely. Wonderful, but how did uh, your parents react that you are very serious on dancing, other than any other profession you want? Or uh, my mother was or... yes, no. My mother was very encouraging because she herself was very fond of dancing and uh, theater. She was a very good singer, but oh, she was okay. not encouraged when she was young. You know, those days it was different. You know, my grandfather didn't encourage her. But uh, so she was very, very, uh, and my father. I think I was the youngest of three children, so I think by that time he had sort of given up <laughs> that you know whatever is youngest. <laughs> I was a little more spoiled, maybe. Um, he okay. was more indulgent with me, and I was all. I actually used to draw a lot. I used to paint. Okay. 
So he always knew that I had a very uh, strong artistic streak. So he never, he never stopped me. He was happy. They were, they, they were very supportive. Very, very supportive. Then how did you, uh, I mean, take it up uh, seriously to the performance level and started traveling so many places? And uh, I think uh, it's it's the I think it's the training that we got from Guruji because uh, you couldn't be anything else but serious with him. You know, okay. he was a very very rigorous and a hard taskmaster. Okay. Uh, it, it started with him coming to Kolkata and you know, taking our classes uh, from morning till night. Then, um, you know, like it would, his classes would start at nine, you know, and okay. it would go on till uh, nine o'clock at night with a break. Oh. Like, with about a two, two, three hour break in between, two hours, okay. not even two, three hours, two hours break for lunch. Maybe we would break from about three to five and then again carry on. So uh, uh, for a month, it would carry on like that, the workshop. Okay. Then when we went to Qatar, when I, when I went to Qatar, that's when I realized that, you know, uh, I, wa I mean, he was, I, with, with Guruji, there, there was, he wanted, uh, he expected 100% back. He gave him 100% and he expected 100% back. Okay. And that is how it happens. You know, a guru can't do everything and the student just takes that is true. It's, that is true. it's a halfway. You have to meet halfway. So that's when I realized that I wanted to take it up very seriously and uh, I wanted to be a performer and uh, you know, I wanted to, I used to see, I watch a lot of my seniors performing. I just, uh, you know, I, just, I mean, I was uh, very fascinated. But how, yeah, how did you get the platforms like, you know, you, you did some uh, Ranga Pravesham, yes, yes. I did my Ranga like that. Yes, yes. I went in 1988, I went to um, Katak and... Um, I did the work, uh, summer workshop there. And at the end of the summer workshop, Guruji had uh, choreographed this very beautiful Pallavi called Behag Pallavi, you know, and uh, we were all, we had just choreographed it. So it was a new composition and uh, I was, uh, you know, I had learned it and I was practicing it. And uh, then I just came and sat down and he said, you know, I will play this for you when you do your Ranga Pravesh. You can do your Ranga Pravesh now. You know, he said it by himself. So, uh, I mean, I, I was, I just fell from the skies because I, I hadn't even broached the subject. <laughs> I was too scared to broach <laughs> that can I do Ranga Pravesh. So I was over the moon, you know, I was like, I was jumping for joy and there was no mobile that time. Guruji had a telephone in his uh, room, which we would, we couldn't call. The calls used to come from our parents if they wanted to find out how we are. And every night my mother would call, you know, just to see that if everything is okay. And uh, she called that night and I said, you know, Guruji has said like this and, uh, you know, there was excitement. I said, you know, I'm coming when we, I come back. I mean, we have to do it. I mean, it, it was just, I think he said it in May and I had my Dunga provision in November. So we just had a oh, okay. few months. Yes. Oh, a couple of months to prepare. Okay, months, okay, okay. Yeah. But by that time, so much of practice and, you know, I mean, I was That's into true. dance full time. By that time, I was into yeah. dance full time. So it didn't take well, me very long. Not like now, yeah. you know, when students yeah. are doing their studies and, you know, you yeah, have yeah. a few hours for practice. So it wasn't like that. So where did this uh, Ranga Pravesha happen? It in happened in Kolkata. Uh, Kolkata Wonderful. in an uh, auditorium. Uh, a Russian consulate had an auditorium called Gorky Shop. Okay, okay. Time. And okay. Uh, my father, of course, naturally, you need a lot of parental support for that. So everything was arranged by my parents. And... Okay. Uh, audience and colleague their friends and family but it was not it was a very simple affair not like what it happens now Definitely oh, okay <laughs> oh you didn't very have some uh, art critics and uh, reporters and um, that is to i don't write think on I had you. Art, no i did i think i had a lot of the dancers all the dancers okay. the fraternity of kolkata okay. came, mostly the odyssey and okay. I myself wasn't uh, so much aware of, you know, the traditions and customs that go with it. And Guruji never okay. bothered. Guruji would oh. not say that, you know, do he just, okay, you're having, okay, I'll come. You know, it was like that. I just oh. had to find his ticket and uh, make sure that he, because he had no idea of dates and all that. So I had to make oh. sure that, you know, he was very, he was uh, living in a different world. He was, he was a true artist. Yeah. So, and he was not well the day he came uh, for my Ranga Pravesh, he, 1st November, 1988. He had uh, oh. fever and cough, but oh. uh, 
people came and there were no that were the flights were not there so he came by train of course and um, he arrived that morning and i got the doc because my mother my father called the doctor and everything we attended the game I, i after that the rehearsal went on for four hours Oh my God! <laughs> I, I had just got time just to eat lunch and immediately rushed to the auditorium to do my makeup. You know, okay. because I was doing I was doing uh, this um, composition of his called Behag Pallavi, and okay. the first time the musicians had picked it up, and they were making okay. mistakes. And Guruji was very oh, okay. particular; but they can't make mistakes. So oh. three times he made me do the whole thing. Three times Behag Pallavi. Oh my God! and so the rehearsal went on for almost 4 hours and uh, then uh, and then and then i don't know i i was like i don't know how i'll dance but somehow we, you get the energy with you get playing it. that there, is you know that is so, that is looking so. at you <laughs> you get <the> energy <laughs> so you whole whole team of musicians also came from uh, guruji no, most uh, of them no they were all from kolkata they were all they were all from the vocalist okay. the sitar player the flute okay Uh, the guruji played the mandala of course and uh, the bakhawaj and uh, the rest were all from okay then simultaneously now you started your uh, performance and traveling and composing yes, yes. choreographing was, present yes. i was very yeah. young though i was uh, but i was uh, i was very clear i didn't want to uh, do any 9 to 5 job i didn't want to do anything that would take me away from my dance practice and performances so yes uh, i think i was uh, fortunate in the sense that uh, you know i didn't have to worry about the financial aspect that time so okay. i was still living with my parents you know and uh, which uh, becomes a uh, big struggle i was very very i'm very fortunate and blessed that i didn't have to do that so i was concentrating on perform so because there's no money i mean nobody pays especially when you're young when you're okay. an upcoming artist even uh, those days it was like that even now it's like that but so i mean and uh, it's better now it's much better now yeah. those days yeah. it was even uh, there was no question of you know that's right and, so uh, but slowly slowly it it uh, you know i so, i started yeah. Uh, yeah you started venturing in the main festivals big festivals in the main festivals you know you City. had to apply apply for the ah, darshan ah, iccr okay. i did all that and then uh, go okay. to bombay we went to bombay kalkita lakar three of us went okay. and uh, we got our you know and then after that um, there were so many private government festivals you know okay. it was a struggle it's always a struggle sir there is it's, yeah, it's that is so, that is so. even today the young uh, upcoming uh, dancers struggle the, those days also maybe yes, the competition yes. was less but even yeah. then we had to struggle and now you have social media we did social media that is we are correct yeah you know so it was all word of mouth and if people came to see you at the performance or read about you in the newspapers they knew how yeah. good you were yeah you didn't have That's facebook and instagram yeah. to turn to so, so you see. left kolkata and came to bangalore how was that how did what made you to come is it your family so, yes that was that was my husband's transfer okay uh, okay that was what that's the uh, that's your husband also dance or you make him no, dance no. or he no, no. He, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> yes he's totally not in the dance uh, scenario he's a uh, okay his job was sales and marketing of fm okay. so completely different but he supported it he supported it. he liked you as a dancer uh, promoted he, you and liked you uh, <laughs> in he, chilli he didn't see me as a dancer from in the beginning but he okay. was okay with it. <laughs> okay 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 so your journey <laughs> started like from there he didn't come to my performance and uh, you know uh, fall in love oh. i think it wasn't so romantic uh. like that but uh, okay. he was fine with my dance <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, lovely. That's good. Uh, then uh, you started uh, doing something in Bangalore in a big way. You started your institution in Bangalore. Yes. What made you to think that uh, you should build up your own institution and you know start um, teaching? Yes, I already had my institute in Kolkata too. Okay. Uh, I did have my own school, Sanjali. I did have Sanjali Center. Of course, I. But because I knew once I go to Bangalore, I will probably have to be staying there for a long time because my husband's head office was Bangalore. 
Okay. So I knew that once we move from Kolkata to Bangalore, we will be there for a long time, okay. as long as he's with this job. So I shut everything. I used to teach in Kolkata, Calcutta School of Music. I used to teach the hearing impaired at the oral school for deaf children. I did all that. And uh, the last workshop I also did with Guruji in uh, January uh, 2004. Uh, December 2003, 2004. And 2004, of course, he passed in April. But um, in fact, I told him I'm going to Bangalore and, you know, I would like you to come and, uh, there at some point. So, but that was not to be. But uh, 2004, when I came in April, um, slowly, slowly, I realized that this, in Bangalore, it didn't uh, take me very long because um, Odyssey was much less here. Now but there are many. Absolutely uh, nothing was happening on Odyssey. Nothing was happening. You showed something more <laughs> to Bangaloreans. Yes. Yes. So your in institution city, was... In the city, uh, yes, in the city. Yeah. Instagram was very yeah. hard. So in oh, the city, okay. nothing much was happening. And uh, I'm very, very grateful to... I always say that I'm grateful to all uh, gurus, you know, like uh, Dr. Maya Rao and uh, okay. Hanu Akka and uh, Lalita Ji. So many, Radha, yeah. Radha you know, so many have uh, welcomed me saying that, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's no Odyssey and uh, yeah. they're happy that you've come. You know, yeah, that was great. That was um, great. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm really grateful. And because they said, Dr. Ashamala Bhave, so many of them are not yes, there anymore. Yes, you know? yeah. <laughs> and um, they all so uh, invited me to their festivals. And, uh, you know, so I realized that um, I started training students. Okay. And it takes time for students to become trained and perform. But by that, by then I was doing mostly solo. And, okay. Uh, so you have trained so many students from your institution. Today we have a surprise that one of your students is going to join us, Surjit. Okay. <laughs> he is oh. with us. He will be joining us. And uh, Surjit, can we have you on the screen? <laughs> Wonderful. He has been uh, also very serious about uh, yes. dancing. He has been with and, me for a long time, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> hello, Surjit. Namaskaram. <laughs> Namaskaram, namaskaram. How are you? I'm very good, sir. Thank you so yeah. much. So, see, uh, your Guruji is there with us. And uh, we are having a chat with the Guruji. And uh, you have a very long history with your Guruji. You started your performance uh, uh, quite long back. And you have taken it very seriously. How do you connect this uh, Guru Parampara? Like you and your Guru, you started, you've been going on and on, doing very good job. How this Guru Parampara has helped you to take up so seriously? So, so um, I would, uh, before starting, I just want to, uh, you know, say a namaskar and pranam to all the dance gurus and the seniors and everyone, the artist who is watching us. Um, I would like to say that I always had, um, you know, interest in dance when I was a child. But then that time it was totally different in my place. When I came to Bangalore and I was doing uh, IT job over here, I was an engineer that time. And I felt that um, I would like to join ODC. And um, ma'am was the first one whom I contacted. I went there and I felt so nice going to the school. It became like a family. And then it started seeing ma'am and seeing all the, you know, mm, you know, the senior dancers dancing. And it encouraged me a lot. And from then it's like more than 10 years with ma'am. And uh, Guru Shisha Parampara is an ancient tradition, though we don't have that thing now as a Guru Kul thing. But yeah, yeah. staying with ma'am, learning things, and uh, learning a lot of it's just not learning the dance, it's learning more than the dance, the life we are being with ma'am. Uh, I have seen so many big productions over here, so many nice lovely choreographies choreographed by ma'am so i was a part of it from the beginning and the on stage the off stage lot of things i have learned and being with ma'am so it's a 
tremendous wonderful journey with her so i it encouraged me always from the beginning and uh, good, good. odyssey was always uh, lovely for me so you think you met the right guru at the right time and you took it up seriously i think god has given me <laughs> that uh, thing that you know i met my right guru and my guru is showing me path to go forward and i would like to go far more <laughs> what do you want to become you want to become a dancer or a teacher choreographer or uh, you want to I, be with madam uh, for a long time i always what? with be uh, will be with didi our okay. beloved didi respected okay. didi also yeah. staying with ma'am we have learned everything i mean we are still learning we are learning the dance we are learning the aspects of dance we are learning different theories and practicals not only that lot of things choreographies uh the stage performance lot of things so i would like to uh, not be restricted into one thing just to be a dancer to be i want to um, you know see all the aspects as a dancer as a teacher as a performer as a choreographer i want to uh, go with all i want to do everything <laughs> wonderful wonderful that's good guruji what do you tell about this wonderful student who is doing lot uh, of things and uh, yeah i think it dance is that way what he's saying is right you know uh, okay you, you can't just you know if, if you're in if you're into dance you have to be a performer teacher choreographer it's all one you know it's all package package uh, yes, okay. package okay. and uh, yes nowadays you have to learn a lot of other things too Uh, along That's with that, right. I mean, you know, <laughs> so you have to learn how to market, yeah, to, you have to learn the uh, how to be tech savvy. So there are a lot of things, but uh, my blessings are always with uh, any uh, any student who shows sincerity, you know. And uh, I always encourage them whichever path they choose, whether they want to be with me or they want, maybe think they think they learn more from someone else. Wonderful. That freedom is also there. Okay. <laughs> yeah you keep promoting them so so much they keep traveling everywhere and performing as seen that uh, yes yes wherever yes i do i take them along and um, shudojit himself has uh, performed as uh, in in my productions he's done uh, right. you know the, the main role and uh, hansika and sushma um, I, i i try to change i don't want only one person to always do the main role yeah, i also yeah. make i make them understand that you know i mean even though it's a dance drama and it's character so of course being a male dancer he, he has an advantage there are not so many <laughs> <laughs> thank you surjit for being with us and uh, wonderful to have you with us keep dancing it's a glory it's so uh, nice to have you keep dancing we'll see you more of your dance thank you for being with us uh madam ji so you've been uh, doing so much of work for your institution and uh, so much of for uh, your big uh, presentations and all yes did you also venture into the uh, film media or uh, this multimedia or serials we have a friend of us with us who is connected with the films uh, vikram ji namaskar namaste vikram namaste ji, vikram suri is a very active uh, uh, he is a basically a dancer uh, trained with uh, big gurus and uh, he is into film making and uh, tv serial making and things like that really uh, okay. yes he has been making and is one of the feature film is waiting for the release of this it's stuck with the covid thing <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> how are you vikram ji <laughs> you yeah. can uh, talk to madam about your uh, plans of uh, uh, yeah. doing some uh, feature on dance or things like that definitely definitely hello madam how are you <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine it's, it's such a, a pleasure to be talking to you i think this is the this is the uh, sai if you were asking uh, you know this is the time to think of multimedia and films and yes because now yes. because of the pandemic the live shows have slowed down a bit yeah 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 so, yes but uh, uh, in this pandemic time this art field is facing a very critical uh, position very very yes so our entertainment media like uh, movies how the is very critical of the patient so it's a very yes uh, 
the theater is only occupied 50 percentage uh, yes so this is the problem we are facing so in this Everybody. context uh, in this context in our dance field also uh, do we facing any challenges do you think yes. madam in dance field yes yes of course see not it's uh, nothing can replace the live performances isn't it yes uh, the, the auditoriums and uh, the live audience and the live you know the, the, nothing replaces that i i i recently had a online uh, recording which i had to do and it was beautiful to be back in the auditorium with the lights and everything you know but the, there's no odd that audience gives the energy for yes. us the rasika is the main uh, you know so it, mainly is, the reaction the reaction the reactions, will be there the reactions absolutely you know so we we cannot you can't see that you just see a blank uh, you know auditorium so it doesn't it's not the same but yes. uh, advantages is that uh, a lot of online shows are happening social a lot of more people all over the world are getting to see you know your performances so these are some of the small advantages i would say but nothing can replace it definitely madam even uh, i think uh, i go with your same words yes, yes i welcome it and uh, one more thing see as an actors Uh, we have got uh, many challenges because as a dancer also i used to give some time for dancing also okay uh, when i used, when i used to go attend the dance classes uh, at that time like uh, i i had a very critical timing for my shooting schedule and to give for dance classes also mm -hmm. uh, at that time uh, not every guru i have faced this uh, problem with some guru like in our classes they demotivated me like if you are interested in dance please come otherwise you don't come uh, as a popular actor i felt like at that in that situation i used to feel like uh, should i continue or not continue uh, but when i think now i should have like uh, uh, what guru says we should not like uh, think or oh, uh, they are demotivating me like that we should not think at, at the same time if i think now and also the sense, they wanted guru, they wanted they wanted you to give more time to your dance is it yes at the same time a guru if they give like adjustment is the good for everyone for artists yes yes, yes. i think if they have well. motivated if they have motivated even i could have a journey my journey of dance career even more long So I think the gener your, generation is changing now. Don't you think yeah. it's changing with the generation? Yes. Probably so the older generation I, is more demanding. Yes. Mm. If if I ask you the same thing for your disciples or in your uh, uh, dance career, uh, have you faced anything in these situations? See now, most of my students. I live in Bangalore. If if so, some of my students have also come to Bangalore, they have either come on a job. or they are studying here and uh, or you know uh, the senior i'm talking about the senior the older the girls and boys there i know that they have a job to do they've come here for that so i can't be so demanding to say no you give you up your job and do this yeah. they they're here for that so yes. i have to adjust i do have to adjust I, i it's not only me i think a lot of because bangalore is the center it's the it hub so most of them have come here for jobs so they cannot give that up those who have come here to study you know they they come here for their uh, graduation or masters i can't say give up your college and dance with you so it so i do have to adjust yes it is it's thank uh, you thank you madam i think uh, that is the main thing the generation yes i think so i think uh, yeah, i i understand where they are also coming from i mean you know the older generation was um, probably much more demanding we've had to change we've had to change we are uh, now it's you know you're living in a city like bangalore where there's so, so much happening so you understand so yes but i'm i'm sorry to hear that you got demotivated and that should not happen please 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 get motivated yes. and come back to dance definitely <laughs> well sorry uh, dai sir is motivating me a lot <laughs> yes so it's a very good uh, film maker is uh, venturing very nicely that's wonderful so i was just uh, uh, you know tempting him to do something on a classical dance of where uh, all this classical dance of their 
we can take some of them and include in this uh, yes. films or in this tv serials and things what is doing so, so even uh, the classical, classical yes to yeah. revive yeah. the purity of classical yeah purity of that and bring that sa- sanctity and purity of it to the uh, more powerful media film and uh, tv uh, serial and all these are very powerful it's touching powerful, yeah. lakhs of people so what we do in our in the auditorium we touch only 500 300 Uh, at the most thousand people, but of here course. it goes in lakhs. Yeah. So I was uh, requesting Vikram Suri ji that uh, he could uh, do something with the classical people. Like you have wonderful uh, students, you yourself are a wonderful dancer, and uh, in collaboration we can do something with the classical forms. No, I'm sure uh, Vikram ji will uh, do something with our. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, and this is the time yeah. because the pandemic is yes. not going to go away in a hurry. We, we it won't go away. Catching, yes, catching yes. our lives between waves and lockdowns. So yes, we have to, yes. This is the way to yes. go forward. Yes. So, Wonderful, Vikram ji. Thank you thank so much you. for being with thank us. You. Lovely. Yes. Thank, thank you. you very much, Guruji. We have one more question for you. Uh, yes. What about these wonderful awards? You've been getting lot of awards. You have been recognized in state, national level, and things. Do, do you think these awards and doctorates and Sangeet Natak Academy Awards, Padma Awards, State Awards, and so and so, so and so, that will uh, push the artist to a different level. Will that uh, give some sort of uh, encouragement, encouragement, or will it give more responsible that they should be committed to uh, do more work in our society about our art and culture? Yes. What I is your so. feeling? Sai, I think it depends on the individual, doesn't it? I mean, oh, okay. I, if 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 uh, if uh, if you are a responsible artist and you have been doing good work, and the award will motivate him or her to do even better work, I think. Now, if you have if you haven't been a very responsible artist and all you think about is the award, in spite of not doing so much work, then I, it will not make a difference. <laughs> do you think that is happening now? Do you think that's happening right now? <laughs> um, difficult to say yes i think sometimes it just uh, people are Happens. so much uh, you know that we want i don't think that matters okay. i i i you know i have been told by students of mine that you know you should start uh, i i said no i don't want to get into all that because then my work gets affected let me yeah. go on to my work you know so and uh, i don't care if uh, the awards not come seriously i mean it depends on the individual i think a lot Uh, that, Look that, at, uh, uh, so many uh, gurus in Karnataka. They've been doing yeah. such amazing work. But uh, amazing work, yeah. But have they stopped? But, they are still doing. You know. Yeah, yeah. So do you think these awards will take you to a different level, like uh, national, international level? Uh, is there anything a taboo like that? If you get an award, we'll take you to the different festival, and if you don't have an award, we don't. Is something think, like that, or the talent? Of no, the I, I, I don't. I I think somewhere you get stuck. You can't go okay. beyond a certain, uh, you know. If okay. the the talent at some point, whether you uh, it is recognized uh, two years later or ten years later or fifteen years later, it will get recognized. It will get. Yeah. You can't uh, fight talent, and uh, right. I believe in that. You know. So I I, I think so. Yes, for us definitely it uh, gets you into some kind of a level. Some kind of. Get yeah. a pa padma shri or a sangeet natak. Definitely, it there. You know, the nationally or recognized, and you do get a place in the, the arts. But uh, I don't know. I don't think that is. The, as I said, it depends on the individual. Good. <laughs> so about the festivals, dance festivals, which are happening around the world, around the country, and our uh, cities, and we have one of our friend also who's from. Uh, Shumaga and Sagar, Karnataka. He does a lot of good festival. Gopal Sagar, Gopal ji kindly come on the screen, and uh, he has been doing a lot of work in a very rural place, encouraging our classical dance forms. Uh, Gopal ji conducts uh, uh, annually. He conducts a national dance festival in yes. Sagar. Uh-huh. It's very uh, close to Shumaga, and yes. there he does it in a very massive way. He puts a big shamiana, big stage, light, sound generator, and usually he puts two thousand to two and a half thousand chairs. Wow. The two and a half thousand chairs are full, and mm. people are standing and see. It's like mm. a big mela. Mm. 
you know people stand there and you know all those uh, mela this one of course uh, uh, sagar ji <laughs> how are you managing such big festivals madam also is doing good festivals uh, how uh, yes, I, i want to know i want to know no and ask a question uh, to madam how you okay. organizing it or what the uh, techniques of, uh, to organize the festival oh wonderful uh-huh. Oh, I should be asking you. I thought you do very well. <laughs> <laughs> and and so decide it must be for the people, uh, for the rural people. You know, you are giving them a treat. So that's yeah. a wonderful uh, thing you are doing for the people. Um, how to organize is um, I've been fortunate. I, you know, I have been getting a few grants from Ministry of Culture and you know, uh, local sponsor, spons- corporate sponsorship is. Uh, Very difficult. No, very difficult. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So I try to have a kind of corpus fund where I do do the festivals. I don't do too many. Maybe one twice a year I was doing. But uh, when I do it, I um, try to do it in a uh, sort of not in a very grand way, but um, you know, more or less try to call critics from outside and uh, audience. And uh, because I I would rather spend on my productions. you know i okay. i think i would really like to spend a, on my art on the creativity rather than just uh, you know do festivals so i i try to combine both together when i have a production then i try to do a festival so that you know sure 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 and, <laughs> and madam i i want to ask one another question you are you are organizing many festivals and uh, performed in many uh, such those uh, government festivals and uh, other organized festivals did you feel any difference between that so those festivals government festivals and private festivals uh some of the government festivals are very well organized you know they uh, um if you're talking about i have been very fortunate to go to uh, festivals organized by sangeet nat academy and all they are very well organized i also recently we did konarak festival uh, which is uh, taken by the government of orissa Uh, before that of course mukeshwar and so i um, mostly i find the government festivals uh, are quite well organized private festivals also it depends uh, on the organizer i'm sure you all are, must be such a sai is a wonderful organizer i'm sure you too <laughs> thank <are>. you <laughs> <laughs> you know it depends because I, i think if you have to be in the arts understand an artist yeah that makes a lot of difference so you know yeah. how artists want to be treated and you know what they expect you know they want a good audience they want publicity they they are going there for you know they are giving so much of themselves to go there so i yeah. think that, that makes a lot of difference i you were you asking me that question the how do you find private and is is that the question yeah. that you asked yeah. Yeah. yes it depends so all private festivals uh, have not been so good all government festivals also haven't been so good so it's like a, you know it depends okay Who is at the head 50. of the government festival? <laughs> Who's organizing? Fifty-fifty. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, Gopal Ji. Wonderful you. for being with us. Thank you. Hope you will call Madam and our team for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> He's already called. I've already been to his festival. You have been. I know. Yeah. It's nice dancing there. It's a very good atmosphere. Very nice very atmosphere. Very good atmosphere. Big crowd and dance for the big crowd. we have to now, uh, i think now all these organizers and you all all have to think how to do it uh, with covid protocol and keep you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. now okay? it will take little some time for us to get it's back to the normal and it has to be in a different style we yes. have to do it in a different style multimedia and, uh, is a thing now yeah what about your um, uh, association with the department of culture sangeet natak academy and ministry of culture and, oh, uh, and state and central are the government doing some good job in dancers are the state government and central government trying to do promote the youngsters or trying to hold our culture or trying to promote the really professional i'm telling stressing professional teachers gurus and dancers are they doing something what is your opinion um i think i think more can be done they are doing i'm not saying that they do you know, you know uh, more okay. can be done i think they need to have uh, 
I feel that uh, you know these kind of ministries and state government and all need to have a uh, committee in place, which uh, okay. who who are in the arts because are they are arts, some, sometimes okay. what happens is they are looking after the administration that they may not know so much about the arts. You know, you are correct. So you are correct. all all of them have to do that. You know, that is true. That is true. But um, state. Yes, and make sure that uh, you don't uh, get out of turn, or it's it's given on merit, not uh, because of uh, yes. who you know. Yes. Yeah. So these things are very difficult. Um, I, they are doing uh, the uh, yeah. Ministry of Culture was doing a lot. Now, of course, with the pandemic, everything has slowed down. Yeah, now it's ICPR, okay. Yeah. everything has slowed but down. But proper so. encouragement is going for the young professionals, or they uh, encouraging them, or they just uh, leaving them there, you know. Uh, is there a lot of platforms for them or less platforms? The government has to do something for them to protect no, their talent. I think for young people, they may need to do a little more because it's difficult for young people to, you know. Um, I don't know. Are there youth festivals enough for uh, the young? For the no, I don't know because uh, you yourself have so many students who are, you know, in a very good. Uh, position to dance in a very professional way and some of them are professional your students mm -hmm. but are they getting the platforms privately more than government i think yes um, okay. okay so i think the yeah i think that because uh, i think it's because because the government festivals are difficult more uh, difficult to reach and access Privately, you know, you know this one, you know that one, you know, and uh, maybe you're in the same yeah, city. There yeah. are so many like you who are doing festivals, yeah. so you, know, you get picked up. But government festivals are always more uh, difficult to access. And I like think, uh, yes, Sangeet Nat Academy. Time till you are established. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Well, like Sangeet Nat Academy and uh, Kannada and culture. Uh, the quantum of uh, opportunities and festivals, what they're doing, is mm -hmm. less for dance or is it more for dance? Or, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think, uh, you know, the, the energy and uh, level of artists who have been growing day by day, mm -hmm. we yes, are yes. not able to see to so many up. opportunities. Yeah. You're not able to. It's very difficult yeah. because there are yeah. so many artists. It's very difficult. Yeah, so many artists. Wonderful artists we have, so many groups, Wonderful. so many institutions. Yes. And if this art, <clears throat> art and artists are not encouraged, mm. what will be the fate of this art? Mm. They, some of them are doing their bachelor degrees, master degrees, PhDs in dance. If they are not encouraged today mm. by the state government or the national central government, the academies and etc. What will be the f future of this uh, traditional art? What is your opinion? Uh, yes, it's uh, it's tough. It's a struggle, and I think the struggle is just getting more and more day by day because uh, now with the pandemic, even you know, bigger troubles we have on our hands. Um, I think use uh, social media and you know try to reach out. They have that That's advantage. It. They have that yeah. advantage. Also, you need to be a little more um, uh, proactive. You have to go and meet people. You you need to do yeah. that. You know, That's you right. need to make sure that they know you. So, I mean, uh, unfortunately, you have to do it nowadays. And uh, so, it really depends a lot. I mean, uh, they should. If the if the young students are they're talented, these are things. That, because now you can't just keep dancing in the home and expect. It. Uh, the public relation ERO is very important. Yes. ERO is very, very important. Maybe, Do you think important. the budget, what the state government and the center government has kept for the art, and especially I want to say about the dance, is it sufficient for uh, today to go? To For performance and festivals? Yeah. Because they, center, uh, Sangeet, uh, Saint, uh, are, they pay quite okay. Government yeah. No, no, no. I'm telling the budget. Because uh, Sangeet Natak Academy New Delhi has got 50 crores you know, mm -hmm. annually. Mm -hmm. Is it sufficient for all the dancers to get at least one chance in their lifetime? Oh, that's a very Is that idea. happening? <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's yeah. Tough. It's yeah. difficult. And, uh, Do you think we need a separate academy 
separate dance academy in the state government and at the central government where something can go only for the classical dance where yes, more concentration dance. more yes more dance. funds more, more, yeah. more it can be generated and lot of dances can be observed uh, instead of clubbing so many other dance yes. drama and music they have clubbed it together yes. and the uh, budget is all divided so yes. do you think this should happen no that 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 i think is a very good idea to have a separate uh, you know academy for dance, uh, dance. dance. okay i okay. feel so i mean I don't know if it's practical, but it it definitely needs to be done because yeah, you're it right; be it gets divided. Yeah. yeah, it's it's getting divided. Divided, huh? Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us, and I would like to have your final quote. What do you advise this young generation, the old generation, and the dance generation who want to take up this very seriously, want to be professional? What is your personal advice and Ashirvadam? Blessings, love, and affection for these people to take it up seriously. Ashirvada for all of them, and I, you know, I just uh, always uh, ask for the blessings uh, to my gurus, to my seniors, and for the younger students. Uh, uh, I don't know if they would like to listen to advice, but yeah, if if I have to give advice, <laughs> then they will I think just work hard and not get demotivated. It, it's more of a struggle in our country because there are so many we are such an overpopulated country we have so many uh, you know uh, we have so many uh, dancers we have so many artists who are all struggling so it's it, it is i mean not to get demo as you know as uh, bigger said you know it's it's try not to get demotivated I try to keep the motivation and the positivity and uh, as much as possible uh, be loyal to your guru you know and uh, because that that really helps um, and work hard and stay positive it's very stay hard positive. i know during yes. this uh, this time especially yeah. to be stay positive but they have to find ways of staying positive whatever yeah. you know Wonderful, wonderful. Stay positive, get motivated, yes. stay in the field, Work arise hard. awake, arise awake, stop not till the goal is reached. Yes. Wonderful yes. message from you. Thank you so much, Guruji. Thank, Thank you. Thank you have your, your journey itself speaks so much. And what a wonderful day to spend with time with you. We are very honored. And I'm Thank sure you. all the artists of our country is very happy to have Listen to you, and this is wonderful journey. They all take it up seriously. Thank you very much for being with us. Loka samasta sukino bhavanti.